do some tests um, just because of the extent of the, the diabetes, okay? Yeah. So when did you lose the left foot? Uh, 2016. 2016. And I how had a uh, bed sore and it was under the skin and when it broke through it was rotten and yeah. it was uh, gangrene and okay. I figured it was partially uh, diabetes and the flesh eating disease together and it just was rotting so bad you couldn't stand the smell in the room. Yeah, so and below knee amputation? Below knee, about okay. three inches below knee. Okay, perfect. Now how are your blood sugar levels now? They were low at lunch. They were? What were they? Uh, 4.2 or something like that. 4.2, okay. Have you taken any? Have you? Did you eat lunch? Yeah, I had a sandwich. Okay, good. I had good. my cheese sandwich, my standard cheese sandwich at lunch. Good. And what's your last HbA1c level? What's HbA1c? That's the blood test you get every three months. For the blood uh, sugar. Well, they checked it this morning. It was only 1.3 at the hospital. When you did a blood test there? We do a blood test there. So How was, often are you going to the hospital? Well, I was going almost every two weeks. Now it's six weeks because everything was looking really good. So, But I have a blood test on Monday for Dr. Stu. Yeah. And then uh, I have a blood test the following week for Dr. Bush. And what, what, are the, what are they, why are you going? is for my kidneys and that. Okay. And my diabetic doctor. Okay, perfect. And then, so are you on dialysis? No, but I they had might dialysis be. when I was in the hospital. Okay. I had it three, three days in a row and yeah. the liver cleared up so well. They, they took you off the dialysis. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. you're not currently taking dialysis? No. no. Perfect, okay, awesome. Okay, so drop the prosthetic on this toe and when was that? About three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Okay, awesome. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm just kind of gonna let you know kind of the different things that I found. Your pulse is kind of your post tib. There's an artery back here. It, I could feel the pulse there. Here, your pulse isn't so good, and you can see just the skin integrity isn't the best here. Okay, no, so you're. It's not good. On, it's better than it was. Yes but it's not the best, no. right? So, just so that you're aware, the blood flow isn't as good as it once was. So you have yeah. to be careful because that means you're not gonna heal as fast, okay? So, the, you know, your pulse, I, can, I can't get anything through here. So here I get a little bit, here I get nothing, okay? So it's just to let you know that your blood flow is not getting there as good as it used to. The other thing is you can see kind of all of this, this brown discoloration. And then if you notice the skin here, it almost looks like kind of like cigarette paper. Okay, that's one shows that the circulation isn't that good, but two, it also shows that your veins aren't that good. And then this is sclerosing, meaning it's basically it's kind of all turned into scar tissue because of the inflammation. Or well, the, my leg was up. It's my ankle swelling. Was just yeah, big exactly. Uh, when I was in the hospital in June. Yes. I couldn't even get my prosthetic on. Exactly, and that's because it was so um, like swollen, right? Yeah, because it's come you're down to almost normal size, really, yeah. right now. Yeah, and so what they call this sometimes is like a wood grain appearance look. Okay, that's exactly what somebody said before. It looks like a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. and that basically just shows that your venous system isn't that good. So just there's basically kind of three, four things that we divide your foot into. We say how good is the blood flow getting to the foot? Yours isn't that good. How good is it getting back? Not that good. Skin, you have an open wound, okay? And then now we're gonna check the nerves, okay? But it just means that you're a little bit more high risk than someone else, okay? And that just goes hand in hand with the yes. diabetes, okay? So, what I need you to do is hold your hand out for me. Good. Can you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get, close your eyes and tell me where I'm touching you on your foot, ready? I can't tell you. Good. On the side here. Okay. On the bottom. Good. Maybe the middle of the bottom. Okay. Let's go there. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Nothing at all. Okay, awesome. And you can open your eyes for me. Okay. Now, this morning when they did my blood pressure, it was 90 over 70. It was 90 over 70, blood pressure is low. So, and yeah, what, was... what have they mentioned about your kidneys? Are they functioning okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should have brought the sheets in. Uh... Okay, that's okay. Don't worry. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of. The skin on the bottom is actually pretty healthy. Um, so that's good. I it's... cream it uh, three times a day now. Back 
in the spring, the baby nail, they thought I was going to lose a toe because I stubbed my toe. Mm -hmm. It went really stupid. It would just hang in there like a limp. And then it healed up, and the next one healed up. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been able to trim the nails, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll do all of that for you, okay? But if I'm just going to kind of show Amber some things here. So see this nail, it's going to kind of come completely off. Okay, and we're gonna take that down. And then if you look here, we, we might have even just a little bit of an ulcer kind of on the end here. But we're gonna take a look at that. I it might have, that every once in a while. you do. It might have healed, but once we take that dead tissue off, we'll be able to see. So I'm just gonna clean your foot with some alcohol, then we're gonna get started, no, okay? No problem, I'm, I'm easy. I'm not <laughs> cheap, but I'm easy. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Do you have an email address? We do, yes. Yeah, oh, well, I need to get it from you because I'm going to send you something also. All right. <laughs> no, it won't be a dirty joke. Yeah. <laughs> so it's. But if you want one, I can send you one. <laughs> well, Amber manages all our emails, oh, so she manages she the dirty joke. So, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so be careful. Uh, well, I, I call one to a doctor all the time, and she just doctor. I use that now three or four times in the office. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So what's going to happen is we're going to start with these smaller nails first, and then we're going to get to the more problematic ones, okay? okay. So we're going to start with this one. So you're going to, it looks like you're going to be losing the majority of your nails here just because they've been so long. Yeah, well, I realize that, so. Actually, there's more nail there than there ever has been. Yeah, it's so. even these ones. And to wear safety glasses. Yeah, we're I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good experience. It? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like our dog, he just lays there and wife and do whatever he wants to avoid you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I should be the one to go, because I know what it feels like. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just going to jump to the big toe here. Yeah, I was talking and he was, oh, I know a guy you should go see. Yeah. And, uh, well, I appreciate it. You know, and if word of mouth is our best form of advertising. Well, you ought to believe it. So. Like, I, wanna, I run a charity for golf. For see Virginia. how loose this is. So this is all coming off. Holy mackerel, I can't believe how much come off there. Right. Well, it's all dead there, right? And, and what we have to see is this black that you can see underneath. Yeah. we got to see what's going on there. Make sure there's not damage here. You must have dropped that prosthetic on your foot pretty darn hard. Yeah, I did from about waist tight. Waist tight. When was it again? About three weeks ago. Okay. I used to have another person did my foot until she came up to the hospital to do it one time and I got infection because her equipment wasn't clean, so I guess oh, it's we're gonna nope. jump to this one. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be. So as I mentioned, right, you're 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 a lot higher risk than anyone else because you're of everything, right? You don't have what we were checking with that little monofilament was how much sensation you have, and unfortunately, you don't have any. So you're diabetic neuropathy, right? So your blood flow is not getting there, it's not getting back so well, and you can't feel it. So it makes things a little bit more dangerous. Meaning if you get infection, yeah. you're not gonna, it's just not gonna heal that fast. You're not ready to do care? No, everyone asked that. Uh, he, uh, he's been a hockey guy here in town for years. Yeah. Hey, he's- Are he's, you from town? Yes. Um, but yeah, don't know, don't know. There's another set of Doyles that have no relation to us. I wish. Uh, my son, uh, Bradley, went to Grand River. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on here.
not much left in that big nail, eh? No, and you'll see when we file it how much more comes down. We're just going to work on this here a little bit just to see what's going on. So you can see here how it's a little open, but we want to make sure it's not coming down in through here. Okay. Still hand for holding the camera. I'd be driving. Nah. Oh. I'm the best one here. She's the best one here. Yeah. <laughs> no. Voted the best one. We'll get everyone to vote and, and see who is. Okay. So see here, it's all separated here too. So we're gonna have to try and find find a way to get that off because it's loose. And any of that loose lifted tissue allows bacteria to get in there. And we gotta keep it as clean as we possibly can, and so it doesn't catch and rip too. He did the, the foot? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> and they don't put you to sleep with that? No. You know, they give you an epidural? Yeah, jeez. With a little bit of anesthetic? Well, I woke up during it. Really? I scared the hell out of me. I gosh. started talking to him and he says, What? <laughs> he says, Get me some more anesthetic. I can't operate on a guy that's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> No, I had no pain for that or no. I, had, I get more um, phantom pain. Phantom pain now than I ever did. Yeah. So you can see all that. We're gonna try and keep that clean, but we gotta be careful because we don't want to create more trauma. Okay. So, well, the most trauma I get is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her that. Yeah, yeah. We won't let her watch the no, video. Eh? You know what? <laughs> She's uh, my medical specialist. Is she? Is she? Yeah. Awesome. But they they gave me up for a day a couple of times. I got fooled. Yeah. So we're gonna start with this one. <laughs> So it just hasn't been trimmed in a while. No, it hasn't been. Actually, since probably June, there hasn't been a lot of trimming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sort of don't need to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> that's one thing they don't do in the hospital, they don't do the teeth. No, yeah, originally that's what cropitis were supposed to do. But then, everyone just went out on their own. <laughs> the last week on my career when I put you home, Bit, and I got a flat tire. I had to push it about, say, 100 meters. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then up the ramp in front of the house. Yeah. So this is what's called tunneling. So see here to here, you can go all the way through. So see that? That's tunneling. So we gotta clean that.
So now nothing can get stuck in there again. And what part of the city did you live in? I have water, like this side of Waterloo. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I played hockey for at one time. Yeah. This is going to stack in. Oh, did you? 65. 65. I think that yeah. was probably before you. Yeah, I'm trying to think of it. Well, I know, yeah, <laughs> it was, but. I'm trying to think of if there's anyone I knew that was playing around then, but. No, don't know that name. Yes, know that name. Yeah. Do you miss the good old days? Oh, I do. Yeah. I can't stand watching my hockey anymore. No? Our leapers no. might might actually do well this year. Well, mine do, but they, yeah. you know, they teach people to go into the boards with the back to you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they help with them in the back. Oh, yeah. Different different game now, eh? Right, ladies, you have to turn and face the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, you're getting rocked. Like the way the guy come in, he got piece of the action too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do enjoy the league. Uh, I have season tickets for the Rangers, but I haven't been for three years because I can't go down those stairs. Yes, yeah, too hard, right? Well, I don't feel like rolling down them. Uh, that, that, that's a good idea. It's a near fall in June, so. Yeah. Broke my collarbone, cracked my shoulder blades. Jeez, you've, three reds. you've been through it all. I put the hardest stitches in my leg and uh, fractured my skull and I had eight staples in my head. Jeez. Spent two months in the hospital. And I run a golf tournament for leukemia. For what, sorry? For leukemia. Yeah. Because I had a transplant. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And uh, we call it laugh. Yeah. And I didn't even make it this year. I was Aww. in the hospital. So my daughter and my sons took it over and ran it. Well, that's very nice of them to do that. Oh, they just jump right in. But I had pretty well everything all set up, so all they'd do is grab the paper and follow the papers. That's nice. And my daughter's a firefighter in London. Oh, good for her. Yeah. And she's come across some pretty gory sights. Oh, gosh. I can only imagine. She was on that TV show 401 the other week. Oh, was she? Yeah, uh, they, when the tow truck came out, they uh, brought a camera crew back. Yeah. yeah. So much for that. The son of my wife went to do uh, yeah. Grand Canyon last March. Yeah. Okay, so still yeah, I'm just gonna show you a couple things. The nail's still attached down here. Yeah. This was all old trauma. Okay, so it's it's just dried blood. I tried to get the majority of it off, but I can't get all of it off. That's no, that's okay. It'll grow out on its own. Okay, that new nail needs to grow in. Okay, here, old nail ripped off. You have damage to the the base or the nail bed. Okay, we gotta clean this up, and then we're gonna put a dressing on it. Okay. Same thing here, okay? You had, you, you what it, when you dropped it, it damaged basically all three f nails. Yeah. Hey. Now we gotta get it to heal. So I know you have someone coming in to, for nail care, or for the routine like wound treatment. They need to be doing it like consistently. Is it through CCAC? CCA3. CCAC, yeah. yeah it's okay. called uh, Home Care Partners. Perfect, okay. And, uh, you call me if they're not coming in, okay? okay? I'm gonna see you next week for a follow-up because okay. we gotta make sure this is healing and then I can also talk about if they're coming Preferably or not. Probably a, a Monday or a Thursday. Amber can book that for you. She'll do it. I'll All right. Care, yeah. gonna, okay. yeah. Thursday would be better. I'm gonna Monday quick just. My wife is on. So. I'm gonna quick get this all treated here, and then for the dressing, and then we'll go from there. Okay. I just gotta get everything set. It's a lot better than it did when I came in, though. Doesn't it? <laughs> it's gonna look way better. We gotta get everything set up though. So, the biggest thing is you gotta keep those toes protected, okay? If they're not gonna be protected. I think I'm gonna have to buy safety shoes. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you're getting shoes with enough space, all right? Because if you don't, 
if this is all just going to happen again, and we don't. Well, want to I think again. part of the reason why this was my nails were so long, and they were rubbing against the end of the shoe too. Yes, Aww. and you so, have to, yeah. Because so, these shoes are pretty good shoes, but uh, yeah, yeah there's another sure. bottom on uh, on the internet. Oh, okay. See, I wash it with the sterile water. Yes, that's good. And then I put anodyne on it. Exactly. So we put alcohol just to clean it. Yeah. This is what I'm going to put on is uh, betadine or povidone iodine. Okay. The anodine that you have, this stuff's kind of wrapped in the webbing of that. Okay. I said the big Q-tip is sticking in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's big, eh? Okay. You know, I haven't been able to find any of those face masks just like those. I hate the other little ones, but those ones are with the rubber that go on the corner around your fr front. Yes. But I went into that shopper's place. They wanted so much money I'd have to rent the house out. I know, isn't it crazy? Medical stuff isn't cheap. No, I have a big box that I keep basically full with all that stuff. And one thing I really like is that cling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one of the best things to the cling wrap. Yep. I know. Nice. So who put the dressing on for you last time? The nurse? That was the a nurse. nurse. Yeah. Who did that one? Okay. Yeah, she did it. Feels better already, just now that you're done. We've treated it. Yeah. Well, I, so now I want those dressings changed every other day, okay? Well, they will be. I know, and, and be on that uh, on CCC to get that done, okay? Well, I'll, I will call them uh, when we get out of here. I've got their number on my phone. So. Awesome. And Would you, because you call that place and there's about 15 answering machines you have to talk yeah, to. Makes it a little bit more difficult. And then they said, oh, we'll get right back to you. Well. I always leave the time when I call. Mm -hmm. And when they call you two days later, I say, that's right back to you. I hate to see it. It was an emergency. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, they're, 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 they're busy, they're you know. I realize they're busy, but... <laughs> you know, I, I get it, I get it. You know. Okay, there you go. So we want those toes to still be able to move, but the motion's not really there anyway. I'm just going to quick put your socks on for you, okay. okay, just so you don't go... No, it's only sock. Not you. <laughs> 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 you got me there. <laughs> Sokka. When I, was, when I was in the hospital one day, yeah. I asked a lady if she, the nurse if she'd scratch my left foot. Okay. Uh. She was looking under the covers and she didn't notice it, so I have to use that long shoehorn, I think. Now these seem really tight. Where'd you get these from? The internet? Yeah. But they're actually a size bigger than I normally wear, so. Okay, but your toes are right there. Yeah, that's, I think, put a lot of bandages on there. I know, but still, like, this is your big toe, and I didn't put a bandage on your big toe. You want half a width from the end of your shoe, and you don't have that with these shoes. You need them bigger. 
Okay. Well, I said to her that uh, next time I'm in, I'm going to look at it. Yeah. So it's a good idea. We're going to check and see if they'll pay for them, you know, for yes. the parents. So. Yeah, definitely, because you have Because I have to have them. So. Yeah. It's not like I'm getting them because I want to be fragile for them. <laughs> so, I'm going to see you back in a week, okay? Yep. Really nice to meet you. All the and best. you too. I appreciate it, okay? And we'll see you in a week, all right? And okay. thank you for letting Amber film today.